Gone are the days when you had to try plugging in your USB cable three times before the port officially accepted it. And we were all partying, but then you realized USB-C is a complicated affair. While they might all look alike and go in at the first time, there's a lot of USB Type-C ports with different naming conventions. So much so that it can almost be intimidating, particularly if you're trying to buy a new computer or just bought one. Well, fret not. In this simple guide and in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna make you super informed on all the types of USB-C ports and which ones actually might matter to you. So don't panic, let's get started. Let's start with the basic principles. So all USB-C ports physically look alike and are able to connect to each other at a physical level. So you'll notice that the design of a USB-C port is usually oval shaped and uniform design. It's fully reversible, meaning you connect it upside down or downside up. Additionally, all USB-C ports are capable of transferring data from one device to another. The speeds range between 10 to 20 gigabits per second. Additionally, all USB-C ports also support up to at least 15 watts of power delivery, which is usually more than enough to power up computer accessories like a keyboard or a mouse, wireless chargers, and most modern day smartphones now use USB-C charging as well. Now see, it's pretty simple so far, right? So just remember, all USB-C ports have at least this much functionality. In addition to the core features, some USB-C ports have added functionality. The two most common types of functionalities include DisplayPort and Power Delivery. So starting off with DisplayPort, this essentially allows the USB-C port to emit audio and video signals to one external display. And depending on the version of DisplayPort 1.4, in this case that I'm using as an example, you can support a maximum of a 4K resolution with up to a 120 hertz refresh rate. The lower you go in resolution, the higher of refresh rate you can support. Pretty cool, right? Now, the next type of functionality is power delivery. Essentially put, like I mentioned, all USB-C ports are able to support up to 15 watts of delivery. However, one that's power delivery certified essentially allows you to support up to 100 watts of power delivery. This is more than enough to charge most laptop devices or devices with larger batteries. And in many cases, it also provides fast charging options. A traditional USB-C port is not powerful enough to charge laptops, but one with power delivery essentially allows you to replace a traditional charger. It is worth noting, however, not all devices use the full 100 watts of charging capability. Some might use 60, others 90, and some the complete 100. It depends on what the device is capable of and how fast it can charge. The final type of USB-C ports I want to talk about are Thunderbolt certified ports. So aside from the fancy name, think of Thunderbolt more so as a standard or expectation as opposed to a single enhancement or feature. So for example, the latest generation of Thunderbolt currently is Thunderbolt 4. And any port that's certified or any device that certifies Thunderbolt 4 will essentially have all the features I mentioned with a basic USB-C port, but so much more. So a Thunderbolt 4 port can support up to 40 gigabits per second of data transfer speed, making it twice as fast as standard USB-C connections. Additionally, a Thunderbolt 4 port can do everything a display port can do, but it can do so much more. It can support two consecutive 4K displays at the same time using a single port, or up to one 8K display running at a 60 hertz refresh rate, giving it greater functionality. And at least one Thunderbolt port on a Thunderbolt 4 certified device will have power delivery, meaning it can support up to 100 watts of power delivery at the same time. Not all of them have to have this functionality, but at least one on any Thunderbolt 4 computer will. So as you can see, Thunderbolt 4 is kind of like the apex of USB-C standards. It has everything and more. It's kind of the most advanced version of a USB-C port. All right, now that you're well informed, you're like, well, that's good to know, but how the heck do I know which port I actually have? Well, usually speaking, manufacturers will actually label these ports on the physical laptop or device. So display ports, for example, usually have the DP sign or the DP verbiage right next to the port. In the case of a power delivery compatible port, you'll often have a battery charging sign or sometimes a plug design right next to the port indicating it supports charging functionality. And Thunderbolt 4 will always have the iconic lightning arrow design, which indicates it's a Thunderbolt compatible port. But in some cases, manufacturers may not opt to put the actual indicators next to the ports, in which case you can usually go to the manufacturer's website or the retailer's website site and the product specifications are readily available and you can easily find out which port or ports your device has. 
If only there was a port that kind of did all these things without all the added functionality and complexity stuff. Hmm. Well, that's a video for another time. If you guys found the content here to be valuable, please consider subscribing to my channel. It genuinely helps me grow and means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.